We are uh, going to be looking at great weather today and tomorrow, so uh, make sure you do enjoy that. Wednesday, not so much. Wednesday, of course, it's a holiday, so the timing's not great, but that's when we have our next rain chance. Fossil Rim looking good, and if you're able to get down there today, it'd be a good day to be down in Glen Rose, mid 70s right now. We see a bit of a breeze blowing those trees around, and we will see a breezy afternoon. South winds between 10 and 20 miles per hour. The temperatures will be pushing back into the middle 80s later on the, uh, today. This is exactly what it was like yesterday and Saturday, so enjoy this. Now, I do want to tell you about something you probably are not enjoying if you suffer from mountain cedar pollen. First of all, we have elm in the high category, ragweed showing up at moderate levels, mold at moderate levels, but ragweed is the highest it's been in October, at least in the past 10 years. And Jeff Ray and I were looking at some of the numbers. We have not seen ragweed or mountain cedar pollen this high in October in a very long time. And so if you've had a renewed eyes watering or uh, trouble breathing, coughing, this may be the reason. Mountain cedar, a lot of that cedar, by the way, is down in the Austin area. And when the south wind, as breezy as it is today, a lot of that pollen makes it up into our area. So mountain cedar sufferers not enjoying the weather, but temperatures in the mid-80s will make it comfortable while you blow your nose into that Kleenex, I suppose. Temperatures tomorrow morning will be in the mid-60s. It will be another breezy, warm day tomorrow. Probably a few more clouds around. But still, temperatures back in the lower 80s. Things change in a bigger way on Wednesday with a cold front moving in. That will change the direction of our winds out of the north, but it will also trigger showers and thunderstorms. And we have a 70% chance of rain during the day on Wednesday. And there is a threat for severe weather as well, especially south and east of the Metroplex. And this color of yellow is where we'll have scattered severe storms. Not every storm will be severe, but we could have some storms producing some larger quarter or half dollar sized hail winds up to 70 miles an hour. We'll keep an eye on this coming up mainly Wednesday afternoon and mainly south and east of the Dallas Fort Worth area. In terms of how much more rain we could see, I think another half an inch to an inch and a half is likely with the heavier amounts the farther east you live. And it's been a very wet month. Uh, but we're going to see more rain around out October on Wednesday. And then it should clear out. We should have a quiet end to the week, a bit on the cool side with highs in the 60s Thursday and Friday. By the way, trick or treat time on Halloween. I do think the rain will begin to shift to the east, which may help out some of our trick or treaters. It's going to be a soggy, wet ground no matter what, but hopefully, you'll have some drier hours with temperatures in the 60s Wednesday evening.